hey what's up everybody hope you guys are doing great welcome back to our video tutorial series for beginners on how to create amazing AI chatbot in this video we're gonna focus on how to connect our chatbot builder AI bot to Calendly I believe Calendly is uh, probably one of the most widely used appointment software out there in the market if not the most used appointment software some of you watching this video probably use Calendly or you will likely be meeting clients that use Calendly and uh, some clients just like to keep certain things they have right maybe they've been using Calendly for about five to seven years they've got their team using it and they don't want to switch over to a different platform a different system they just want to keep what they have and maybe they're asking hey can your AI bot connect to our Calendly platform right so it's important that our bot have that capability to talk to other software right because we don't want to lose a client you see what I mean so this video is going to show us how we can allow users that are interacting with the bot book appointment on Calendly right using a simple link and once Calendly completes the appointment booking process we want a message to come in from Calendly right into our chatbot builder uh, system and then we want to display that message to the user to show that uh, the appointment has successfully been booked all right so follow me while I show you how to get all these things set up all right so uh, the first thing we want to do uh, we're gonna go over to settings and then we want to go over to integrations and then we're gonna go over to prompt engineering and then I'm gonna click on where it says prompt templates okay so prompt is sort of like the brain of your bot so anytime you want to do something this important right you want to give a new set of instructions right because your AI bot is still working on the previous instruction you gave it that's why we're starting this with our prompt okay now one other thing I will advise for those of you that are starting out whenever you create a prompt try to save it as a template okay because each different prompt you create uh, has different instructions right that way when it comes time for you to switch from one prompt to the other you can do that easily so over here you can see I have three different templates of prompts right I created one specifically for Calendly if you want to create a template just click add right here give it a name that you can easily recognize and once you do that you see something like this okay so I carried over probably 90 95 percent of the prompt instructions from the old one and I carried it over here and all I did was to give it specific instructions when it comes to booking appointment right because you want to connect to Calendly so as you can see right here uh, most of the content remains the same but when I get to book appointment section when the user want to book an appointment I want the user to click on a specific link okay so the link right here is a link that I pulled from Calendly okay I'm gonna go over the Calendly in a moment to show you how to get this link okay so um, let's go find where to grab this appointment link okay I'm gonna go over to my Calendly account right here all right now as you can see I'm on the events types page this video is not a Calendly setup tutorial okay so in this video I'm not gonna show you how to sign up for Calendly how to set up your account and create your event and that's not what this video is about I'm assuming you are already familiar with Calendly if not if you're working with a, a client they already have their Calendly account set up they've already created their events once you create an event you should see something like this you can see this box right here the link we want to grab is that one right over here okay all you got to do is just copy that link and then come back to your prompt 
and then make sure you provide that link right here in your prompt okay that way your bot will know exactly what link to provide to that user okay one other thing I advise you do is whenever you paste a link in your prompt I recommend you place a forward slash right after the link okay the reason is that sometimes AI tends to put a period at the end of a link assuming the link is the final part of a sentence right and that period can cause the link to break whenever a user clicks the link they could see a broken page right so be careful i would just recommend placing a forward slash like right there at the end of every link inside of your prompt okay so you can see that i have instructed the bot through the prompt to send the user to this link anytime a user has intention to book an appointment okay maybe i can add another instruction here that says if the user requests the user requests to update an appointment please provide the user this link Okay, if the user requests to update an appointment, please provide the user this link. It's going to copy this and paste that right here. Okay, so we want to go ahead and save this. Okay, and then once we, we save this, we want to go over to where it says integrations. Alright, I'm going to go over to prompt engineering. And then right over here, I want to click edit. Okay. Now it's very important that you have the prompt that you created selected. If you click over here, you see all of them show up right here. Okay. I have the one that I set up for Calendly check. It's very important that you have this checked. Okay. That way the bot would know which prompt template the bot will be using. Okay. And then over here where it says functions, you can leave that empty like this for now. So if you have any function pick, just exit out and leave this part empty. We don't really need a function right now, okay? Uh, over here where it says more uh, model, uh, you can keep it at this version for now. Um, the temperature, you can keep it at 0 0.20, it's okay. Uh, max tokens you can just leave that blank all right and then we want to hit continue okay so after we have this done we're gonna go over to flows and we're gonna create a flow and this flow is what we're gonna get currently to trigger to the user as a confirmation okay so we want this communication our chatbot is going to send the user over to the Calendly platform to book the appointment. After the appointment process is completed, we want Calendly to send a message back to the user right into our chatbot builder platform and it will that message will be displayed to the user as a confirmation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create that flow and we will connect that to Calendly. All right, I already have one created right here. To create a flow is very easy just add click add give it a name right there and once you do that you should see a canvas that will open just like this okay so this is just a simple confirmation flow all I did was just um, just click message right here okay then you want to click add content you can add your text right in here I'm just gonna copy this one Okay, you have your text. Let me see right here. There we go. Okay, and then for the um, item at the top is pretty much a GIF. Okay, to create a GIF, you just want to click Add Content. You can do Add GIF right here. 
all right and then I just pull this over to the top Let me pull this down there we go and then just click right here and then I believe I put appointments in here appointment and then I pick this one right here I believe it's this one right here okay all right and that's pretty much it that's how you create it okay nothing sophisticated that's how you create it now I'm gonna use this one because I have it set at start right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this I don't need that's the same thing as this one I'm gonna hit publish all right so I have my flow created this is the flow that I want to get Calendly to trigger after Calendly completes the appointment booking process okay so to do that we want to go back right here to flows okay and then I'm gonna I'll put my mouse here on the flow I just created and then I'm gonna go over to the three dots click on it and then and click get link all right and then I'm gonna choose the Omni channel for now okay I just want to give them the option to get the confirmation either through web or messenger all right so I'm just gonna click Omni channel and then I'm gonna go back to my Calendly account all right and then right here we're gonna be using this events right so I'm gonna click right here where I have that setting thing right here and then I'm gonna click edit okay and then right over here I want to scroll down to where it says booking page options all right so I'm gonna click on that scroll down a little bit and then you see where it says confirmation page right make sure you choose where it says redirect to an external site okay and then we want to go right underneath it and then we want to paste our chatbot builder flow URL right there and then once you paste your uh, URL link right here you can save here you can just leave it on check for now you don't really need that so you can just do it this way paste your link and then hit save and close right there and then you are good to go so once the user completes booking the appointment on the Calendly interface Calendly will instantly send a text reminder and an email reminder directly to the user okay and then Calendly will also trigger that flow we added in the settings area right in the event section right here so a confirmation message will be sent to the user right inside of the chatbot okay another cool thing Calendly does is it allows you to set automated messages to remind the user about the appointment all right so let's say a day prior to the appointment uh, Calendly will automatically send a confirmation text and email to remind the user let's say maybe an hour prior to the appointment time the user gets another reminder and then maybe 10-15 minutes the user gets another reminder okay to help you know remind the user so at this point we are going to um, test our bot to see how everything will work together to give the user a nice experience okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my phone right onto my screen real quick right here and uh, let me before we do that let me just darken the background like that pull up the phone yeah this is a lot better okay and then I already have the welcome flow which is this one right over here I already have it over here on the on the phone screen so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that okay and we're gonna test our bot let's see how everything comes together all right let's see how the user the user experience will be like so let's say um, just gonna pretend like I need a car we already have a welcome message I'm gonna say uh, hi I need car what is your down payment like ok 
okay? So the bot is going to tell us about down payment information. All right, so I'm going to say, I want to come see your cars. I want to come see the cars you have at your dealership. So now I'm showing intent to book an appointment. I want to come see the cars you have at your dealership. So now the bot should give me a link. There you go. The bot now provided me a Calendly link so I could book the appointment, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And right there is our Calendly interface. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's say, Saturday. 17th and I want to come in at 1 p.m. I click right here all right and then I'm gonna fill in the name let's say the name is um, Frederick 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 um, let's say Frederick Owen just making up a name okay Frederick Owen and let's say um, the email I'm just gonna put this email in there all right the user puts the email in there over here we can just leave it empty uh, and to see some cars you don't have to put anything in there but just put something in there all right, and then the user puts the email, uh, the user puts the phone number right there. Okay, and then uh, that's pretty much it, right? They can hit schedule event. Okay, so this is where all the beautiful things starts to work together. Now look at that. We just got redirected from Cullenly back to our CBB, there goes the notification right there. That's the text alerts from Calendly. Uh, we'll check that in a moment, but check this out. Calendly redirected the user right back to our chatbot builder platform. And now, once we click, I'm gonna go with the web chat option, right? Because we're using web chat. Once I click continue, Calendly now fires the confirmation flow. Look at this beautiful thing right here. Isn't that beautiful? So look at how AI bots communicated and work with Calendly to give our user a beautiful user experience, right? So if I go over to my text messages, I can see the confirmation right there. That's the last one right there for Frederick, all right? And then uh, I see this is the confirmation that was sent from Calendly. Okay. If I go to my email, I should see uh, where is the email? There we go. Frederick, right there. Okay. So you can see hi, Frederick, and all of that information. All right. Telling Frederick what they need to bring with them and all that so guys this is how we can get our bots to communicate with Calendly and allow the user to book an appointment using the Calendly interface and then after the user completes booking the appointment uh, Calendly will now trigger a confirmation message to the user right inside of our chatbot okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope this video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be creating more cool videos like this. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you will receive a notification. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're stuck somewhere, if you're having any difficulty with anything, send me an email or write something in the comment section. Let me know what it is and I'll be happy to help you okay uh, you guys have a wonderful day and i will talk to you all later see you all in the next video have a wonderful day bye